my opinion, I think the uh, the cartel is like a terrorist. They they work. Uh, they want to demonstrate fear, intense fear, and by that they use that for control. They uh, maybe it's not as they don't their tactics are almost the same as, as a terrorist. However, there's no secrets about their tactics. They want it. They want to make a statement. They want to make a statement to uh, as revenge, uh, revenge, uh, control, uh, control a government. Give you some background on the AK-47. Back in uh, the reason that it's a 47 is because it was designed by a Russian by the name of Mikhail Kalashnikov back in 1947, and he designed it for military applications, and so that's why it's called an AK-47. They have evolved into semi-automatics, which can be sold over the counter in gun shops to people who are legally able to buy guns. Uh, and they do not have to have a license to carry them. Uh, and that's what we're seeing uh, a lot of now, the semi-automatic AK-47s being used in this, uh, if you want to call it, drug wars over in, uh, in Mexico. Uh, semi-automatic, the difference between semi-automatic and fully automatic is that when you're firing a semi-automatic weapon, uh, every time you want to fire a round, you have to pull the trigger. Mm -hmm. So you pull it once, it fires one round, you have to pull it again to fire another one. Now you can fire them rapidly, okay, the, as fast as you can pull the trigger, it will fire. Uh, a fully automatic weapon is when you depress the trigger, it will continuously fire automatically until you let go of the trigger. This is Bulgarian down here. This is a Chinese made. Uh, these weapons are uh, anywhere from semi-automatic to fully automatic and the most, most probably and most common uh, you will find the fully automatic weapons uh, in, uh, in the military application. All right? Very few semi-automatics are used in the military application, although a lot of weapons can be used either way. You can have a selector switch on it to where you can go to semi-automatic or fully automatic. Uh, yes, you can fire up to uh, 400 rounds a minute fully automatic with one of these weapons. However, uh, one weapon uh, would probably uh, not handle that many rounds uh, in that short a time. So therefore, if you go to a scene where more than 400 rounds have been fired in a minute or less, uh, it's most probably and most obviously uh, multiple gunmen with multiple weapons similar to this firing at the same time. You know when they shoot a person more than like maybe a normal kill 400 times I believe it's again trying to make a statement saying that we have control and we can get away with anything and you won't be able to stop us. In other words they're telling another person if you do us wrong this is what can happen to you, or this is what will happen to you. 